All right, here's a story about some of the struggles Google's been having in Australia, which we talked about a little bit. They want to... Australian government is interested in shifting the relationship that companies like Google have with news publishers and those that are creating stories. Hmm. Uh, there's an argument that that those publishers should be getting a bigger share hmm. of the revenues because Google is in a way, I mean, it is a partnership. Google is kind of utilizing and relying on those uh, content producers. Google's saying, you know, this is the way the internet works. Yeah, We're just linking to your stuff. And they're saying, well, when, you know, your service depends on linking to something, linking to us, we want a bigger, bigger share. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm simplifying. Anyway, the Aust Australian law is there. Facebook had words about it. Google had words about it. I actually don't know what the status of it is exactly. Google had at one point said, we're just going to have to leave if this thing goes down. Mm -hmm. Though it sounds like they may play ball a little bit and try to rectify the situation to a certain degree to keep doing business. Well, now India has weighed in days after Australia enacted that law which will make tech giants Google and Facebook pay pl publishers of news content. The Indian Newspaper Society, which represents the print media in the country, asked Google to increase the publisher's share of advertising revenue to 85%. Whoa. 85%. We could use some of that 85% on this platform right here. 85% uh -huh. of the advertised revenue. Sounds, Sheesh. Uh, that, ain't, that ain't ever been talked great. about on YouTube. Yeah. Apparently, I need to go uh, sign up for the Indian Newspaper Society yeah. and start writing out these rants in words, <laughs> you know? And uh, the reason I was so scribbly is I don't write with my left hand. I was doing an action yeah. over here. Anyway, yeah, they're looking for 85% saying that the technology giant should ensure greater transparency in the revenue reports it provides to publishers. And it's just getting tough for, you know, a lot of governments are becoming increasingly interested in technology companies and figuring out how they actually work, how they actually profit, and uh, whether or not they feel it's a, a productive or, or rewarding relationship. Uh, there, there's uh, other nations as well where publishers have raised the issue. It, it, Google has recently agreed to better compensate and pay publishers in France and notably Australia, obviously. So we'll wait and see what happens, but it appears that uh, the conversation is happening. And the publishers say as well that if they can take a greater share of the revenue, this is what they say. If they take a greater share of the revenue, uh, they produce more high quality content, mm -hmm. which then offsets the cheaper content or what they call the fake news. Sure. You see how that, how they, yeah. I mean, that's what they say. Uh-huh. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out.